So, this is Bulman's Cathedral, um, founded around, well, it's unknown really, there have been monasteries here for thousands of years. Um, what's interesting about this building is that you can see every style the camera. of Gothic and uh, church architecture that has existed in England for Keep a looking at the years. camera. Um, the tower behind us is made of Roman brick. Uh, it was ported up the hill uh, from the demolished city of Verulamium down the way um, and used as building material for this, this tower, which is the, the tallest part of the structure and also the oldest, uh, which is quite impressive really considering the uh, building abilities of the Saxons who, uh, who constructed it. Um, you can see the narrow bricks, uh, Roman in design, and they've been cobbled together with bits of flint um, uh, removed from Roman constructions um, made in the valley below. Um, the transept, again, you can see are a hodgepodge of, of, of flint and, and brick construction. Um, and then you see uh, blocked construction over here through the Lady Chapel um, in, a, in a Gothic style and then other periods of construction from Victorian through to uh, uh, modern uh, Byzantine style on, on, the, on the North Transept. prevent idolatry. Don't have much space to get on with um, it. The official line is. So the official line is that we've seen the underpainting exposed after the whitewashing has been taken back. Uh, and that's a, that's a red ochre, uh, which causes the white skin of the characters, which you can see in, in, in other theaters, to look black once you remove, mm. the, you remove the upper layers of the paint. Now, that's the story. What do you as a technician think of that story and whether it's black Jesus and who's trying to describe it? Why should we believe the story that we're told by conservationists or historians? Well, I don't know why we should believe anything. We can see that there's something going on here, which is that the painting has just come out of nowhere. Uh, it's been restored, but uh, also the colours look very odd. The fundamental question here is realism. Do artists paint what they see? Or do artists have a fabulous idea not in a, of a not fantasia? Not in a church context, no. Do they paint? Do, so not if, until the 19th century. If you see uh, dark people, are they dark people? If you see blue men, are they blue men? If you see giants, are they giants? Yeah. Or are you seeing a stylized version of maybe a large person, someone who's important rather well, than someone who's big? If you look back in early painting, you get large figures jumping to the background from the foreground you get a very mixed up sense of scale yes. in, in early Christian images um, and this is because of uh, also perspective having been invented much later so scale or rediscovered. Can, it can be a question of order of importance or it might be to do with the narrative that a figure is of a certain size. Yes, often you see these sort of <coughs> cartoon paintings where you've got the same thing happening over here and then like another panel of the cartoon but in the same picture. Mm -hmm. It looks like there are several copies of the same people doing different actions. Even here there are two angels uh, just next to Maria which are much, much smaller yes. and yet they seem to appear at the same picture plane.
blood. The clouds burst through, and suddenly you're in the Imperium, you're in heaven, and you've got angels coming down. And things. Well, like the Trevelli yeah. painting. So, and, and, and you've got this guy, this monk, kneeling on the floor, um, and then there's realism in the room, and then above, there's inside the room, there's maybe some clouds, and then you get, you know, gods coming down, angels, different kinds of and it could, of course, be like devotional, or it could be a trip. You know, like if people are often right into food, water, different kinds of mushrooms. You know, it could actually it, stay it, it, instead of instead of being instead of being oh I'm devo um, as a devotional picture, as if I'm seeing God in the room above me, and I've got reality, and then just above reality, there's a layer of fantasy, non-reality. It could just be like a hallucination, actual hallucination, because of physiological denial of the body, um, or taking drugs. Interesting theory. I don't and think they had that, any drugs. You can see that here. That because look, this is... Yeah, as they did, they're all fucked, because they're not some Soma. What? Soma. As you've identified, this is... Are you filming? They've always had drugs for them. Are you filming? <laughs> are you filming? Yeah, I am. As you've identified, this is... As you've identified, this is a room. It has the trefoil as a ceiling, like we're seeing through a church window, with incense burners in the roof, which you can see the Botafumero in Santiago flying around, you know. So this is reality, and then above it is the imagined... Vault of, vault of, the, crucifixion. of, of the crucifixion, which they but which these people here, this man and this woman, are imagining in their the session of prayer or whatever it is, hallucination. Um, and the level of reality of that split between you know the 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 the, the mundane daily life and yeah. then whatever appears above it, with you know a flower spangled flower or star spangled um, ground and the and the cross appearing with Jesus looking at his own child in the arms of Mary um, as he gurns on the cross. It, is, this, is this something that's imagined? Is it something that's devotional? Is it something that's hallucinated? Is it something that's connected with our bodies? Is it something that's connected with reality? They're or is it just the imagination? In, a, in another vine, again, a spiralling vine, it's quite highly detailed. Oh, yes. With uh, vine leaves and grapes hanging down. Yes, so, the cornucopia. So that's a pagan element, and it's also something that's talking about the pleasures of the body. Mm. The Dionysian uh, Dionysus. I mean, this is quite a rich woman and her maybe father confessor. You know, her, mm. you know it could be Rasputin. <laughs> He's clasping a book. Right? Yes. He's also uh, holding up two fingers, which is an old Christian way yes. of prayer. Really. Well, I mean, Jesus would do this or this. Yeah. Yes. That's this this is more this is believer yes. uh, sign. Yeah. Um, uh, certainly two different or well, three different realities mm. in this picture. Oh. So they believe that in commissioning works for the church that their payment for the commission would buy their way into heaven. So it's a kind of indulgence. Also also there's a more vine going motifs. up around as a yeah. frame. Yeah, you can see the grapes. Yes. Reappearing in a diagonal pattern all the way up to the top. So. Yeah, they sort of grapes. But also, you, you can see the drawn stone. Gaps in the stones, uh, that have been drawn onto this plaster to make it appear. This is it. oh, it's masonry. Yes. Yeah, and they have It's actually not that. masonry. Yeah. So they could have painted one thing over another and it's come through. Yes. Or, or they would have left it to look like um, a photo of uh, a double negative exposure. Yes. Uh, super. Mm -hmm.